I do a lot of work on developing educational resources to su support the uh, Teachers Institute and helping them integrate uh, the science of radio and space technology in the uh, classroom. There's a lot of spin-off from my efforts that are uh, purposely provided to you as a give back to the general ham population and I hope that you can take advantage of some of those things. Uh, the RAPS uh, rotor, RAPS stands for Wobbler Radfex Antenna Pointing System. I've been accused of wanting to use a lot of acronyms uh, and uh, I'm guilty of that. Uh, and But that's what RAPS stands for and this is a battery operated uh, antenna pointing system that I basically designed to try and drive down the cost of the Teachers Institute space to uh, save about a thousand dollars for each teacher that participates. The spin-off of this is a, a pretty good uh, portable antenna rotating system that is available for you and I try to make it as available uh, as cheaply as possible and this is the main point I wanted to mention is that uh, when I uh, develop something in cooperation with AMSAT and the AMSAT store and they uh, sell the, the preamps, um, they're selling the RAPS board, there's a few other things that are uh, being sold and a couple of other things that are in the pipeline. These are not profit centers for anybody. Uh, my program nor I make any money on this. Uh, I get reimbursed for the cost of the parts and the postage to send the stuff to uh, AMSAT. AMSAT adds a little bit of delta uh, to, and that money is earmarked to go back into satellite development and then it's basically sold to you at cost. And that's as cheap as I can make it and AMSAT does an excellent job to uh, leverage our resources that I developed for the Teachers Institute to support the HAM community. So I, uh, I hope that you'll take advantage of that. The RAPS uh, then, uh, from feedback from the field, became the tricked out RAPS. And as HAMs are, every, a number of users were building the RAPS and then I started getting emails and phone calls uh, basically because it didn't work the first time and I had to talk them through uh, switching some wires on some potentiometers and stuff and they said what is what if it would do this what if it would do that and when that happens my mind explodes and we end up with the RAPS 2 which is a uh, dual band ver dual antenna version that then led me into developing a way of uh, making the phasing lines and then uh, that led into the uh, phasing lines and that led into uh, me electromechanically way of switching polarity particularly for SO50 and that led into a modification of uh, the minimalist preamp that is already in the store to add a switching relay so that with a flip of a push button switch you can go from right hand to left hand circular polarized and that's included in the preamp. I hope you'll see that in the store in the future. So please uh, stop by the Education and Technology booth. I have the MPPT simulator, I have the Wobbler simulator, I've got the CubeSat simulator, I have the RAPS uh, rotor on display, I have a radio buoy that I'm going to be using this year in uh, the TI2 remote sensing, I have a copy of the uh, uh, Maria board and I can show you how to use APRS as a data link and Matt Severn is in the booth with me. He and I are the ones that were controlling each other, other's robots. Me in my office in my underwear since I work at home and Matt in Michigan controlling my a robot through the ISS. Uh, I'd like a chance for you to come by, touch and feel it and ask us questions and see it all in, in operation. So please uh, do that and please take advantage of uh, the resources that I uh, have the opportunity to make available to you through AMSET and my program. And recruit teachers for me, will you please? Thank you.